and welcome. My name is Brian Kaplan. I'm editor of the Banker magazine, and uh, we're drawing to the end of Cybos 2012 in Osaka. For the Banker magazine, it's been a hugely successful event. We've had uh, massive distribution of our uh, special Cybos issue. Uh, we ran uh, special dinners. Uh, we've had special presentations. We've had a big editorial team here consisting of uh, Jane Cooper, who's the transaction banking editor, and Doigu Tavern, who is the technology editor. So, uh, Doigu, I mean, obviously a huge number of serious issues have been discussed at uh, Cybus 2012. Regulation's always a theme that's, that's coming around. Uh, what have you picked up in terms of, of how the banks are, th are feeling about regulation at the moment? It's been you know, a long kind of process getting here. Uh, but are we starting to see you know, the parts fall into place? Um, the parts are falling into place, mostly because they really have to now, because um, all deadlines, um, be it CEPA or Dot Frank, um, you know, are very, very soon. So, um, you know, Dot Frank is coming in next year, well, 1073. Yeah. And uh, from all the regulatory issues I've seen here, Dot Frank clearly is the biggest one because even though it's just in the US, um, it impacts everyone else that's doing any business or receiving payments from the US from a bank. And um, a lot of banks are talking about it, talking to each other about it, All and right. trying to find ways around. And you and you wrote an article in our special issue okay. about uh, Dodd Frank ten seventy three, but you also wrote one about SEPA and the problems with standards yeah. in SEPA. And we've got the same kind of issues with SEPA. So it's like we've got the deadlines now, but are we really ready to kind of sort of finish the game off? They have to mm -hmm. be ready. So. Um, uh, the biggest issue for the banks is now to um, make the corporates understand it and make uh, sure that the corporates will be able to uh, send the right files to the bank so they can process the payment files um, and not make it too disruptive. Okay, now Doug, you're, you're in charge of the technology beat for the banker and technology is clearly a big part of the transaction banking space. So, I mean, what have you picked up in terms of uh, initiatives and developments in the technology sphere. So while the regulation side is a bit negative and it's impacting banks quite badly, um, you've got the sort of positive side um, in the technology bit and there have been, um, so in InnoTribe there are quite a few sort of new startups or in, in, um, new companies that are coming into the scene trying to find alternatives. There are um, other companies that have been around for years but they are now um, seeing success such as Earthport for instance who are building a model or who have built a model um, to g that will probably help banks really well in um, getting compliant with Dot Frank. So uh, technology bit is really good. Uh, anything to do with mobile or mobility is gaining uh, success and traction as well. Thank you, Dorgu, for your thoughts about technology and regulation at Cybos 2012. Now, Cybos 2012, of course, is in Asia this year, and Jane Cooper, who's our transaction banking editor, is also Asia editor. So it'd be good to get your thoughts, uh, Jane, about uh, the uh, implications of, of having Cybos in Japan and, and what it means to Asia. Well, this has been good because I've been wearing both my hats at this conference. So yeah, mm. everyone was looking forward to it being in Asia. Right? Asia is mm. the land of opportunity and growth. It's a very exciting market. But how can you have a conference in Asia that is kind of missing China? I mean, in our interviews, you know, bankers don't really want to talk yeah. about it. It's a, it's a sensitive subject. So, so, no so, so but let's be clear. I mean, the, the Chinese didn't come because uh, Japan and China are having a dispute, a territorial dispute mm. about, about islands. So, you know, and it's affected the IMF a few weeks ago. Again. So it's a great shame in a way that this is political thing has interfered with the commercial uh, conference. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then politics and like bank, a lot of banking is about yeah. politics and vice versa. And, uh, yeah, okay, but look, I mean, the transactions business has to to go on and, and get things done regardless of the political situation. So, uh, but clearly, I mean, the banks think there's a big opportunity in Asia in terms of its growth, in terms of trade and uh, and, and selling services here. The global bank selling services to the Asian banks is this kind of thing you've been picking up? Yeah, and <coughs> I, I think everyone was expecting that. Well, everyone was looking forward to the Chinese banks being here last year. They were sort of um, making their presence known and really gearing up so it, yeah there's obviously been a, a void and a, and a gap um, but when you sort of talk of Asia it's it's not it's not just China you know but China is the big story but the, the rest of Asia isn't as dependent on China that perhaps people would think there's there's other regions in in Asia as well and I, I think 
um, each of the banks here, they're all doing slightly different things and they're, they're just picking on their strength. They're, they're picking certain segments, the things that they do well and sort of being quite strategic in which areas and which industries they're going for. Yeah, because I mean, uh, if you pick a bank like Standard Chartered, I mean, it's, it's transaction banking is really run out of Singapore, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that gives it a big presence in the region. Uh, I mean, do you think that's helpful in terms of uh, creating a, a, a transaction banking platform in Asia? Yeah, and, and Singapore's kind of the, the sort of hub for GTS or transaction services, you know, so it's a hub and it, it attracts a lot of talent, you know, there's a lot of smart people there. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I mean, it's yeah. interesting that, um, you know, I mean, uh, the Chinese banks haven't come, but there's also been talk of, you know, whether China would prefer to go its own way on some of the big sort of issues and whether it doesn't want to really be involved in, in the whole SWIFT international community. Is that something you've picked up? Or you picked up? <coughs> well, who, who knows? I mean, it's a bit of a, a, a guessing game, but you have to remember this comes at a sort of an interesting time for China as well. We've got yeah. a, a, a big leadership transition coming up, so I think everyone is just being very cautious and, and, and waiting to see and it, yeah, who, who knows what, what the real thinking is behind a lot of these decisions. Now the other thing is Jane, I mean, you know, you're, you're in charge of transaction banking for the banker. It's become a much more glamorous business, hasn't it? You know, at one time it used to be the investment bankers got all the sort of yeah. glamour and fame, but not anymore. I mean, transaction yeah. banks now are kind of, you know, the sort of the, the, the flavour of the moment. Is that well, right? it's, <laughs> it's, it's sexy now. And yeah. uh, you, last year we had Karen Fawcett in our video interview at Standard Chart. You know, she said, you know, transaction banking is sexy. And, and people are sort of saying it again this year. But there are other seasoned bankers who've been doing this job for for years and years, but what, what some people have uh, sort of noticed that the quality of the suits is getting better at this conference, you know, people are noticing that there's a lot of investment bankers who are perhaps being laid off or reassessing, who, you know, who, where, where the, the future is, yeah, yeah. yeah. so now okay. we've got the investment bankers kind of coming into this space now. Thank you very much. Well, those are our thoughts on Cybos 2000. You know, the regulation's tough, but at last it's got firm deadlines. People are looking at ways of solving the problems. People are starting to see it as an opportunity. Also, in terms of uh, technology, you know, there's, there's a lot of emphasis being placed on investments in new technology because transactions really is a technology-led kind of business. We've talked a little bit about uh, Asia and the role of Asia. The disappointment, of course, that the Chinese banks were here. And, of course, most important of all, people are dressing better. Transaction banking is more sexy, and people are dressing better. I'm Brian Kaplan, editor of The Banker, closing off from Cyboss 2012.